Honeybee wanted to say hello. Say hello, honeybee. Say hello, beautiful. You want to play, don't you? You just want to play. She's going to play now. Welcome to today's video. I just wanted to make a video to sort of run down all of Honeybee's toys and to talk about what she likes, what she doesn't like, and open some new ones and see how she likes them. Honeybee! Oh, hi, Inga! Hi, my toys! She knows it's her toys. She's like, Mom, give me my toys back. First of all, I'm going to talk about Honey's absolute favourite toy. This is a stick with some feathers at the end and three rustly bits of paper. I think part of the reason she loves it is when we bought her, her owners gave us this little treat bag. See a picture there. Some food and some toys and this was one of them. And this is how we used to call her from her hiding spaces when she first moved into us with us because she was so nervous. Whenever we shook this, she would just come. So she absolutely loves this toy. It used to have a lot more feathers and she ripped them out, didn't you, honeybee? No, that was naughty cousin Ted. All right, if you say so. This is what it looks like close up. Today because I'm going to go outside in a minute. I just couldn't be able to dry it. It's really sunny outside. I thought I'd just let the sun dry my hair. Another one of her favourite, well, it's not her favourite actually. She's a little bit not. uncertain of it. Um, well, she was when we, I first got it. I thought I'd get this because it's basically lots of little rustly bits of silver and gold. So I thought she would like it as much as the feather and rustly one, but no, she doesn't. On the other one, there's probably a scent from her old house where she grew up until she was 12 weeks old. So I think that's part of the reason why she likes it so much. This one's a lot bigger. It's like nearly the size of her head, as you can see. So obviously it's a bit unsettling. But she can play. Whoa! She does do good tricks with it too. This one we call the Hawaiian skirt rustler. And it looks just like this. which I was saving to open to the video. I opened it yesterday because we were out all day having a barbecue and we haven't let Honey be outside yet because she's only been with us for about 10 days now and we only just let her go around the whole house for so taking things slowly. So it's a cloud with two stars, a moon, and each of them has a bell on it. And it is super cute. I've put it in a video before. You can see Honey Bee has come down. Yeah. Oh, it's like the cloud is coming. It's a fun one. She can grab it and then when she grabs it, it springs up. So it's got a nice response to it. That one was from Pets Express. This one is from Pets at Home. It's from the kitten section from Pets at Home. got the mice friends which I showed you in the last video with their catnip inside. Do, 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 do. Hello, excuse me, do you know the way to Honeybee's house? Mm, I don't know the way to Honeybee's house but I know the way to her bed. Oh great, could you show me then? Yep, it's just to the left, just follow me. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Thanks for showing me honey to be fed. You're welcome. So, we've also got this amazing fish. Which has got catnip in it. 
she likes hunting these and um, she only, she sometimes sees them and smells the catnip and just starts sort of fighting with it and then she'll run across the room with it in her mouth. Her owner also got her some little sparkly mice. Hello, I am a green and pink mouse. I've got a tail with a bird. I'm pink and green. I've it's made from laces with a plastic ball. I've got some felt ears and a pom pom nose. And inside I have a little bell, a little rattle. Oh, I love being shaken. This is what I was made for. house by the way this is one of her houses I'll do a video of her houses she's got like a felt it's very soft I don't ever grab her from in there that's like her safe spot it's like a very soft black area for her to just chill in <sighs> what, who's there do you like it in there honeybee just want to play What's this? loves that little fish and she does the same thing with the two mice that I showed you but she doesn't do it as much with this one and I think what the difference is is that they have catnip in these don't have catnip so if you're going to get them little toys which are little friends to keep them occupied get ones that have a little bit of catnip in them because they have a lot of fun with that she kind of thinks it's alive isn't really sure <laughs> she's really able to embody that feline instinct of the hunter predator and really bring that into play and that helps her to grow stronger, keeps her stimulated, keeps her happy. She'll walk past it, if she's bored she'll see them, it'll be a little game for her. So she's always got little games around the room as well as discovering the whole house which she finds very interesting. Hello, hello, hello. If you made it to the end of that video, congratulations. You've won a signed autograph of honeybees that will arrive in your house in five weeks. Yes. And also I've given myself a makeover since I did the video. Um, but yeah, if you liked it, let me know in the comments. If you didn't, don't say anything because I'll cry. If you want to see more from me, subscribe and let me know what else you want to see. Something other than cats. You want to see some fashion. Maybe that's coming on the way. Maybe, maybe. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to tune in to part two when it comes out. Mm -hmm.